It's called Malus coronaria. It's a wild apple species. And the reason that I'm interested in it is that it because it has many traits that if introduced into commercial apple could really benefit apple production. Yeah, I think this is the best one here. Yeah, I think. This is eight right here, so twelve? Twelve maybe? Yeah. What's this? it's late blooming. And so compared to our commercial apples, something like Honeycrisp or Red Delicious, Malus cornaria blooms sometimes two to three weeks later than that. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but almost always that's enough for the, for the flowers to escape the killing spring frost. And in many years, uh, apple production is just completely decimated by spring frost. This grew last summer, and maybe even this part right here. And so that's the part that's blocked. Oh, there's some here. Can I hold it down for you? So what we're doing today is going and actually removing a piece of the branch and storing that in the cold over the winter and in the spring, we're going to graft that onto another apple plant, and then that will grow up uh, into its own tree with the same genotype as the original. <laughs> with climate change, it's quite possible that apples won't be able to be produced in Michigan in the future, in the current state. And so that's why cultivar improvement, especially in terms of frost resistance, is so important. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.